and in Colorado. Appointed freshman Senator Michael Bennett has become a fierce fighter of the public option after getting a primary challenge from the left. Bennett has always uh, supported the public option, but he has stepped up getting 41 Democratic senators to commit in writing uh, to voting for the public option if it comes up for a vote in reconciliation. Joining me now is Andrew Romanoff, Democratic candidate uh, for the Senate on the Democratic ticket in Colorado. He is challenging the appointed Senator Bennett from Colorado in a primary coming up in August. Uh, Mr. Romanoff, you were the House Speaker, uh, House Leader, should I say, in Colorado for four or five years. Uh, and, and is it your jumping into the primary that has forced the public option letter that we've been talking about now for weeks? What do you think? Well, that's a good question, Ed. Uh, certainly we saw a number of senators go back and forth to uh, try to treat the public option as a multiple choice exam. I think you heard a, a lot of folks say last year, gosh, we're all for the public option, but we can live without it and we'll vote for the bill even if it's not in there. Uh, that's not leadership. Uh, and it's too bad, I think, that we're still having this debate uh, now nearing the middle of March when the time to stand up and make a difference was back in December when so many senators were cutting so many backroom deals and killing the public option to begin with. I'm happy uh, that this thing is still alive, uh, and I hope we will get the competition, the accountability we need uh, for the insurance industry, as Senator Warner said. Are you more of a uh, progressive than Senator Bennett? Because that really is what this is all about, isn't it? It's hard to keep track of my opponent's positions here. I will tell you what I believe. Uh, I think too many Coloradans, and too many Americans for that matter, are paying too much for insurance that covers too little, and too many don't have any coverage at all. Uh, you've done a really valuable service, I think, Ed, in pointing this out uh, over the years, and I've met too many folks in this state who are losing their coverage, and too many families who are losing their loved ones. I think sometimes what's at stake in this debate gets lost uh, in Washington, D.C. I'll just give you one quick example. I, I met a, uh, a man just the other day when I pointed out to him 45,000 45, Americans are, are losing their lives because of this health care crisis. He said, I know one of them. And he handed me the obituary of a co-worker, 63 yeah. years old, uh, a fellow in Colorado Springs, worked for a living, worked for a company that didn't provide coverage, had high blood pressure, couldn't afford the medicine he needed to stay alive. His heart burst. Well, you and have he left been, a wife and children you and grandchildren. You have been consistent on the issues all along, uh, Mr. Romanoff, and you're polling very well uh, in Colorado. If Bennett defeats you in the primary and goes up against uh, Jane Norton, I mean, the polling right now is at 43%. They are, are going even at 43 And, of course, uh, if we were to have you at 44% and 39%, that's how it looks right now uh, if you were to win, or should I say, go up against Norton. So uh, you got to feel pretty but, confident yeah, about this. We're going to win this race, and you're right. The polling consistently now says I am the strongest Democrat to hold this seat in November. The poll that just came out this morning, as you mentioned, now puts me ahead of every single leading Republican in this race. If Democrats want to send a leader to Washington, if they want to send a message, if they want to just hold this seat in November, they'll nominate me. And they can start on Tuesday night at our precinct caucuses. Andrew Romanoff, good to have you with us. Keeping it interesting in Colorado, no doubt about that. Thanks a lot. Support Andrew Romanoff for United States Senate.